guys been waiting for it. It's been, it's been a long time coming. I forgot, I should have had that song. It's been a long time coming. But honestly, it's Friday. We can finally go to the malls. We can finally go to the bars. We can finally hang out with people. Only if this coronavirus wasn't in the way. Honestly, I have to say, like, um, <clears throat> big, uh, I have to give a big applause to Broward because, like, Broward are, we are actually taking the initiative to enforce this coronavirus. And I understand Fridays used to be usually the days that we actually relieve ourselves and actually, you know, turn up and have fun and actually bring in the weekend because Friday is the preempting to the weekend but now now like our new normal every day feels like a weekend because usually everybody's at home so even though <laughs> somebody even though you probably feel sad on this Friday I feel as though you should do something enlightening to say yeah you know even though it's a new normal that is quarantine you should go out not like every other day, but go out, do something jazzy, do something spicy. Yeah, I mean, you can't do nothing. Everything's closed, but do something very spontaneous that you have in your mind that's very creative. Because honestly, you can't be stuck in the mood that you were in since Monday. All right? <clears throat> Bring me on to my next point with um this guy named Evan Era. He was actually he him and his wife actually buy in bulk when it comes to hand sanitizer and toilet paper and mr evan era he actually every time a, a delivery service from doordash to amazon comes around he gives them no he doesn't even give them he he lays it out like trick-or-treating he lays out the toilet paper and he lays out the hand sanitizer and they can grab how much ever how much ever packages that they need and you know get on with their day people think it was kind of like a hoax or like he was just tricking people on like how much would you want to buy but he was actually giving it out for free the fact that he had surplus and he wanted to share which most of you know people have surplus and i feel as though like you know if you are hoarding stuff you know, now is the time to like give back to your neighbor. Give back to somebody that actually needs it. Not saying that the shelves are not full or like the trucks are not bringing in stuff to stock up these stores. But, you know, if you if you know that your neighbor needs something, you can actually give it to them. Give them a packet of whatever you have. Like we have to go back to more um, being more humane in this new <laughs> normal that we have being um being that said mr evan era was like honestly um broadcast like worldwide from cnn to msnbc saying that he's um saying that he's just giving everything out for free and <sighs> being that florida was being that florida is on the brink of like i would say honestly locked down completely I mean, there's lock, there's lockdown from state cap, not even state capital. He, our, um, our governor already announced a lockdown. So, being that Florida is on a lockdown, someone tried to make a joke out of this, and I didn't hear anybody. I didn't hear anything throughout this whole coronavirus scare. Um, throughout the throughout this whole coronavirus scare that came down to Florida, I didn't hear no news about any Florida man. But Florida man has to come on top because Mr. Florida man and Florida man's name is Donald Ryan. This is just one Florida man. This is not all the Florida man's, but this is Donald Ryan. He built in honor of Evan Era. I don't know if he was honoring Evan Era in this, but I feel like, I mean, not feel like, but I know this is a practical joke. Like Mr. Um, Donald Ryan built a toilet paper roll out of arts and crafts because he's a crafts type of guy between two palm trees a big toilet paper roll so if anybody in his neighborhood needs toilet paper you can grab a few squares 
or a few hundreds of squares to suffice um, this whole quarantine time. I don't understand the whole packet of that because, you know, it is open air toilet paper. I don't know who, would, who in their right mind would want <laughs> to grab toilet paper, but I mean, if nature calls, nature calls. But in actuality, I wouldn't want, um, you know, open air toilet paper, to be honest with you. I mean, Mr. Evan Error did it correctly with the whole fact of, you know, bringing in, um, actually giving out his surplus, being that he already had it. He already had it surplus in stock before this um, whole scare came to the United States. But the whole fact that Mr. Ryan saying that, you know, I'm just going to build a big giant toilet paper roll, put it in front of my yard and see who takes it. It's kind of like, you ain't got to really got to do it like that. You can actually save that toilet paper, hand it out one at a time to people, you know, not be a, not, I feel like you, you're trying to be, what is it? You're trying to be a prick about it to be honest with you and say, yeah, you know, I'm just going to hang out toilet paper here and whoever needs it when nature calls, you can grab several sheets. I won't be mad, but it's open air toilet paper that this man is giving out for free. And he built it himself on this contraption that looks like a hammock, but it's not. It's a hammock for a toilet. It's a hammock for toilet paper. So <clears throat> let's take the role of Mr. Era and say, yeah, that's not the good way to go. So if you do have surplus for this Friday, please, before anybody even asks, because you know it's hard for people to ask for something because everybody feels like they got it. Before anybody even asks, just say, hey, my brother, I have you. I got you. I understand where you're coming from. I understand, um such and such that um times are hitting us hard but you don't even have to repay me back let's just um make make this through we're almost over the we're almost over the hump stay positive and be attentive on like whatever's going on in the news and what we're hearing from the counties not be uh you know prick and put a big roll of toilet paper and have people coming to your yard like for squares of toilet paper. I just don't understand this concept. I'm pretty sure that he was smiling throughout this whole time that he was making this big contraption that looked like a hammock. But I just have to say, Mr. Ryan, being that you are the first Florida man news that I've seen since this coronavirus, since this coronavirus pandemic, I just have to say, Man, that's the wrong thing. That's wrong. It's wrong way to get in the news. I understand you wanted to chuckle <laughs> because when I saw it, I'm like, holy, like, why would you even think about that? I mean, that is creative in a way, but who is going to get open air toilet paper out? Like, <sighs> Mr. Ryan, it's Friday. <laughs> Please, if you do have surplus of toilet paper, Please make sure that you do give it out to your neighbors because being that um being that I always see my neighbors around because everybody's exercising. This is the fittest the world has ever been. <laughs> to be honest with you, everybody's exercising, everybody's walking, everybody's taking a breath of fresh air, everybody's smelling the roses if we had any. No, everybody's smelling the mangoes or smelling like, you know, the citrus, the citrus trees because it's about to be like, I think, harvest time for the fruit. But basically, I would just like to say, being that we are more, even though we're socially distant, we're still more social than before because you'll see, you see more faces that you haven't seen in your neighborhood. So be that, um... Be that good Samaritan and say, hey, I know I, I know this is glutton, this is gluttonous. Let me um see who really needs it more than I do. I know I don't need that much. So let's see what I can do for my community to say, hey, I could do that. Not not say nah nah not for like pompous or like trying to boost my ego up, but like just 
to help out the um just to help out the um just to help out the ones that don't want to ask for help and being down here i already know that there's a lot of people that do not like to ask for help even though they need the help they love the fact of having help no, they love the fact of people giving help, but they will never be the first ones in line saying that, hey, I need help. But in actuality, they do need the help. So being that this is a Friday turn up and do not blow my Friday vibe, because honestly, every Friday for me is a turn up, even though that I am on quarantine, but... <laughs> Well, but have that positive vibe that this Friday is a turn up Friday. This is the weekend, guys. I understand everybody was chilling throughout the whole week because we're on quarantine unless you've had to go to work. But I feel as though you should turn up, do something spontaneous, do something very um out of the norm today. Do something that you really wanted to do that you couldn't be able to do that doesn't consist of going to the beach going to the water going to the lake i wouldn't prefer going to the lake here there's alligators and you do not want to get bit by an alligator so don't try to go to a lake you know probably try to see if you can fish or something I, I don't know if there's any fishing ports that are open but do something spontaneous that will give levity into your life like mr ryan tried to do putting a giant paper towel open roll for people to um you know take I don't know if he did it on a Friday but he did it he did it jokingly this week <laughs> he did it jokingly this week but do something that will actually light you up because it is Friday even though we are on quarantine don't take it as like this is a Monday or this is another day of quarantine take it as a day as this is Friday you can't steal my Friday okay take it as that type of day make sure that you stay positive throughout this whole dark age that we're living in people are what is it people like family members from friends are telling me this is um what is it this is the end of days i don't know what type of i am legend movie that they're watching but this is we're just getting over the hump guys we just have to stay calm listen to what is it listen to regulations and actually if you do see signs of like um if you do feel like you have symptoms please i don't know i don't i wouldn't know how to get unless you go to the drive through and get tested but um as long as we stay calm stay positive this will we will get over the hump if I feel as though if China can do it, we can definitely do it twice as fast. But I don't know what's the hold up. But we can do it, guys. Okay? We're going to get over this hump. This is not the dark ages. We are not going to live like I am legend. Um, <clears throat> it's not going to be anarchy, riots. It's not going to be people going out with 100 motorcycles just because they feel as though they deserve this day be um cautious towards one another i understand that you want to hang out with your friends but hanging around with 250 people that are not social distancing is not a good look because you don't know who has what and people always say that they're healthy okay so stay tuned with your star player and your star players yourself so don't what is it i understand that people don't want to listen to the whole um the whole the whole message that everybody um is saying but i would say do research upon yourself because honestly if you do research upon yourself and not have like the tv box or the tv open on a daily constant basis you're only listening to the opinions of whoever's on right now if you do your own research you will know more about the virus than what the tv is actually portraying i understand that they're showing cases and they're showing increases but 
you know, the news only reports bad news. If they reported good news, I don't think there would be business. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> my opinion is not always right. But I would say, make this, guys, your turn up Friday. And being that it's your turn up Friday, take a shot. Make a margarita if you can. Um, make a mixed drink if you can. Go to the liquor store. Have some fun. Don't get don't get intoxicated, inebriated that you can't function for tomorrow. But make sure that you ring in your weekend like it's a weekend. Okay? Have the mindset that this is your weekend, and you're gonna get through this. You we are we are in the midst of making it or breaking it and we can make it guys as long as we have the right mindset and we have the right attitude okay mr evan Ura had the right attitude giving out his surplus of toilet paper and hand sanitizer to delivery drivers like delivery drivers are not even expecting stuff like that they're more more courteous that the fact that their delivery drivers i'm pretty sure they barely have time for themselves let alone shop for themselves to actually get stuff like that on time being um get 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 stuff like that for for them on time being that what is it being that like all the shelves right now from Publix to Walmart to basically everywhere are empty of household essentials like Lysol and all that all that, all that good jazz that we would need to disinfect ourselves. But I would like to say, make this Friday your fry yay. Your fry yay. Like, like, you pumping it up. <laughs> make this Friday like your fry yay. Because honestly, you have to think positive. In the dark time, you have to see, you have to see the light. There's always light in dark. Okay, guys? Darkness is the absence. Of, what is it? What they say? Darkness is the absence of light. But there's always light in darkness. So look at the positive. Glass half full, guys. I understand that everybody's outside running, walking, doing courteous, not doing courteous things, but doing amazing things that they should have been doing since January first. You know, New Year's resolution. But hey, that's just me saying what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody's really healthy, you know, getting fresh air and not staying inside that much. You know, it's like, it's like honestly, a block party throughout this whole time. Throughout this whole time that, um, this whole quarantine party, the, no, not this whole quarantine party, this whole quarantine pandemic is, um, going on for this coronavirus. And I would just like to say, guys, once again, I don't know which side of the um, what is it, Libra scale you're gonna be on with um, being an Evan Era or a Donald Ryan, but make sure that this Friday is a positive Friday for you. Make sure that you do something very spontaneous because I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something very spontaneous, and I'm not saying that I will broadcast it, but I would do something very spontaneous because it is a Friday, like. I understand this quarantine took everything away from me, even the bars. And I can't even have a, a Bacardi and pineapple the correct way, you know. But I will take this Friday as a victory because I will be having a Bacardi and pineapple my way. Okay? And you should have your similar version to a Bacardi and pineapple whatever way you want don't let this quarantine take away your weekend and that's all that i have for slick speaks here on slick speaks until next time guys i'm out